Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? This is Sheila with Sheila's One Stop Coaching Channel where every Wednesday and Friday I've been reading out of the books that I've wrote but I download videos with content about writing, my writing journey, inspiration, um, coaching, life coaching, just all kind of uh, motivational information that can help you on your journey. If that is something that you would be interested in, if you're wanting to write, if you're wanting to be encouraged, then I ask you today to subscribe to my channel, share it, like it, comment on it, and help me get these videos out there. But every Wednesday and Friday, I read out of these, or I've been reading out of the books that I have wrote. This in here, Life After the Mistake, New Beginnings. This was my first, this is my first baby. It is on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, you'll have to put in the title, Life After the Mistake, New Beginnings by Sheila Texter. It's $14.99 paperback. You can get it in ebook for $9.99 and just download it. And if you are like Prime or Unlimited, Kindle Unlimited or something through Amazon, you can actually download this book and read it for free from my understanding. I have had, it looks like some people has downloaded it and read it for free in the ebook. And on Fridays, I have been reading out of my devotionals, How to Be Prosperous. So, or, and also, I am writing my second devotional right now. I'm in the process of writing it. And it is How to Be Intentional with Your Words. And it's basically talking about the power of your words, you know. And so I'm excited about that. I, I've not... I've not turned that over to my uh, proofreader editor yet because we are actually working on a little short read that it just, you know, I felt like it coming to my spirit because, you know, I decree and I declare daily things in my life. And I say, you know, I thank God for the wisdom and the knowledge and I thank Him for for downloading things in my spirit, you know, for letting me uh, think of things that could bring income into our lives and not just, okay, God, you know, just bring the money to us. And don't we don't have we shouldn't have to do nothing, you know. That's just usually not the way it works. You know, God gave us our minds, He gave us our, our hands, and He gave us, you know, if you can see and you can hear and you can speak and you have hands and you have your health. You have all you need to move forward in this life. This morning, I'm going to read today, of course, here in just a few minutes. We're going to be reading day 21 out of this, How to Be Prosperous. But I like listening to Jim Rohn. I don't know if you've ever heard of him or not, but if you haven't, you need to look him up because, man, he is he's awesome. I like listening to all the older um, motivational uh, value the growth channels. I like John Maxwell, uh, Earl Nightingale, Dale Carnegie, the, all those that wrote, you know, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, there's just so many of them that have shared, you know, how to move forward in this life. It ain't about getting rich. It's about your attitude. And when you change that attitude and you change your way of thinking everything can change in your life guys it really can but i just want to share this right quick before i read this uh, i was listening to him this morning and i've heard him talk about this several times and i know that i know several people like this i'm talking about i know them personally that he says that if you want to change where you are you got to change what you're doing. If you don't change what you're doing, then what where you are is not going to change neither. But this one thing he said, he said that, you know how some people, usually you're going to have to work to make money. You're going to have to invest in something. You're going to invest in some growth. You're going to have to take some classes. You're going to have to go beyond your comfort zone. You know, like I wrote these books and I'm writing on another one. My plan is to have 12 of these in the next two years. And I'm having this little short read right now that's going to be an ebook. 
on Amazon that you can just download. It's kind of like called passive income. You know, people can just download it and I'll make money while I'm sleeping. That's, you know, I'm just trying to move forward in those things. Okay, but get this. So he says, you know, but sometimes people have an opportunity to come into their life. Like maybe somebody uh, dies, maybe somebody's spouse passes away, their children, there's a freak accident, and you get a lump sum of money, or they get a lump sum of money, or maybe they've worked somewhere for, you know, 15, 20 years, and they had some 401k, and they changed jobs, and uh, maybe they had $50,000 in there, and they get all that at one time. If you don't grow, if you don't grow to where that money is, Eventually, that money will just come back to where you are, and you'll still have nothing, you know. And I was like, wow, that is so true. I know people that has had as high as a hundred and something thousand dollars that they've got from different things, from life insurance. And uh, I know a few people that got the money from, y'all remember here about 20, 30 years ago when people were getting money for those fin 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 pills that people were taking and it messed them up and stuff like that and they got big lump sums of money I know two or three people that got money in those and they've got nothing they've got nothing to show for it and then you have people that win the lottery but they're poor you know you know they have a poor mentality and if they don't take that money and invest it in something it won't be long the money will come back to where they are, which is really nowhere. So guys, I know this is kind of like off, <laughs> off of this, but then again, it's not. How to be prosperous? You know, I know the Bible tells us, I shared a thing on Facebook this morning. I know the Bible tells us not to worry about tomorrow. You know, tomorrow has enough worry of itself. We, we're not supposed to be fretting and worrying about what we're going to eat tomorrow, what we're going to wear tomorrow, those kind of things. I don't, God don't want us worrying about that. We're to trust Him and to know that He's going to take care of us. But I believe with all my heart, the whole book of Proverbs will teach you how to plan, how to invest. I mean, the whole Bible speaks about planning. You know, when a farmer... A farmer is not going to just sit in his house and say, I sure hope I get a harvest next fall. I'm not going to plant nothing this year, but I'm just going to see if anything comes up. I can tell you nothing's going to come up. If you don't plant the seed, nothing's going to come up. So you've got to be intentional with what you are doing and where you are growing and your attitude. You know, and another thing that I, I heard him say this morning, you know, that it's not really what you give, it's the attitude with it that counts. And he used this example, uh, he says, this is the Jim Ron, he said, supposedly, now he was talking to the men, I guess, he said, supposedly you go to, uh, you go down the street where there's a, a young man that does shoe shines. And you get up there, and that young man, he does the best shoe shine that you've ever seen. And you think, you know, I ought to tip him. And it comes to your mind, should I give him one quarter or two quarters? You know, and he says, you give him the one quarter. You think, that's enough. But then the rest of the day, you dwell on that. I should have gave that boy two quarters where if you would have gave the two quarters to start with, the rest of your day could have been vibrant. And, you know what? I feel like I gave that boy a good tip. I feel like I invested in him and I let him know how thankful I am. It's, I mean, I know that's just two quarters, but I'm telling you guys, it, it makes a big difference. And he said, when you want to tip somebody or you want to bless somebody, you want to give something to somebody, he says, and there's two different numbers that come to your mind, you know, $5 or 10. Always give the bigger one. Because if you don't, the, if you give the least amount, 
you will feel that all day long. You will feel like, man, I should have gave 10. I should have gave that, you know? So it's it's really is, it really is in here, you know? Uh, the last two or three months, especially in this cold, we've had a very cold winter. I have been giving tips to the guys that get the baskets out of the parking lot, uh, mainly Walmart. But they'll be out there and it'll be raining, it'll be cold, and uh, and they'll be, you know, they'll have their raincoats on, their muffins on, their things on their heads, and they're pushing, and you know, uh, and my heart goes out to them. Yeah, they're getting paid, you know, they're getting an hourly rate wage, but you know what? Those boys are helping us. Those guys, girls, you know, I've seen a few women out there doing it. But it's mainly guys, and usually on the younger side or the older side. But I have tipped them a few times, and it's like, thank you. And I tell them, I say, I just want to thank you for what you're doing. I appreciate you coming out here in the cold and the rain and the wet bringing baskets in that all I got to do is walk in there and get a basket. You know, I just want to thank them for that. And, you know, they'll they'll have this look on their face like, I'm just trying to get these in. And then I stop and I give them the tip and they, they get a smile about their face. They get blessed. I get blessed. You know, and then I have this joyous attitude for the most of the day for all day because I feel like that I obeyed God that I feel like uh, you know God prompted me to bless them or to give to them you know and it's always going to come back guys it's always going to come back so I just want to encourage you today encourage you to grow yourself invest in yourself invest in something invest in some books I just ordered a book that uh, John Maxwell just wrote. I mean, it is a new book. Him and some, um, some other guy co-authored a book called Change Your World. And it's all about changing your world through the way you talk, through the way you act, the way you give, the way you invest, the way you bring value to the world. I'm telling you, it can change everything. It will change everything. But I am going to read today be encouraged, go forward, and I, I know if you watched my Wednesday video, I apologize for not doing a video last Friday. We went out of town, and I just didn't do it. I didn't take my laptop with me. I didn't try to do anything. I just didn't do it. And I will let y'all, I've got two more weeks of videos, and I'm not going to do a video the week of the 22nd through the 26th because we're going to be in Florida. We're flying to Florida from Blava, Arkansas, which we're going to go to Memphis, Tennessee to, from the aer airport there. We're going to fly to Florida, and we will just be gone that week. Now, I might accidentally do like a live video or something and put it on my channel. I don't know yet, but... I just wanted to let y'all know that here in a couple of weeks, there will be no videos for that week unless, unless I make a video down there and I'm around Wi-Fi to where I can download it on my YouTube channel. But anyway, okay guys, t today in my How to Be Prosperous, day 21, um, let me make sure, yes, Second Chronicles 31, 20 and 21. And thus did Hezekiah throughout all Judah and wrought that which was good and right and truth before the Lord his God. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God and in the law and in the commandments to seek his God, he did it with all his heart and prospered. Wow. He did it with all of his heart and prospered my goodness mm. okay it's a heart thing i didn't know this was going to be what i was reading today i love how this works out a lot of times i will expound on something and then when when i go to read what i'm going to read that day it lines up with what i was already speaking and i love that i just love the confirmation 
It's a heart thing. How many times have we heard that statement? We're not talking about that muscle that pumps blood through your body, but the heart of the soul, the mind, the spirit. The heart is the emotional part of our humanness. It's that gut feeling when something doesn't feel right. Yes, that heart. When we work for God, we should always bring our best. I would say no matter what you do in life, do it with all thine heart, and you will see amazing results, whether it be natural or spiritual. Hezekiah did what was good and right. See the pattern in the last few devotionals? Do good, do right. Seek God in whatever you do. Do it with all thine heart toward God and watch him prosper you. Our life doesn't have to lack any good thing. Our life doesn't have to lack any good thing. When we bring our best to God, our heart is sincere, the and our heart is sincere, we will be seen it will the rewards will be seen by us and others. Here's the prayer. God, the word tells me my heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. I want to commit my motives unto you. Check me. God, for false feelings. Check my actions. Let me do all that I do for your glory. When you get the glory, our flesh sometimes has to suffer. Most of the time, our hearts will tell on us. Our hearts are revealed in our everyday interactions with our fellow man. If my heart strays from your ways, then prick it. God, show me my error that I can correct it, that I may be blessed and prosperous. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off here for today. I love you. I appreciate you. Like I say, subscribe to my channel, like it, share it. And if this is the first time you've been here, welcome. Welcome to Sheila's One Stop Coaching Channel. I've got some things on the back burner that I'm praying about, thinking about, thinking about changing the name of my channel. Not necessarily my content, but I don't seem to be drawing the viewers that I want to, that I want to draw and enough subscribers to move this channel forward. But I got some great content because I share a lot of writing tips, things on my writing journey, reading out of both of my books, and just sharing my journey with y'all and letting you know that God can and will move for us in a miraculous, miraculous way. But until next Wednesday, y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy the, the weather that we are having. Enjoy that. Be strong. Stay strong in the Lord. Stay faithful to God. Stay faithful to the church. Stay faithful to your home church. Faithful to your, to your man and woman of God. Just do what's right and watch right come back to you. So until next, uh, until next Wednesday, guys, we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.